Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Jacob back again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about, of course, um, the third <laughs> release of GTA 5. Now, I thought I would uh, address this and, you know, put some sight on it, put my input and what I think about it. Not only my input, but we're going to be checking out some comments, some Twitter uh, things, uh, maybe some funny shit about people reacting to the remastered version of gta 5 it is releasing for its third time on the next gen consoles in 2021 the second half so probably september november ish of 2021 now i thought because i'm predominantly a gta 5 channel we check this stuff out so let's get right into it if you guys do end up enjoying today's video though please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and let's get right into it all right so here is the video itself of when it actually showed off in the trailer or um, the live stream of PlayStation 5's reveal. And I remember seeing this. But this right here, in my heart, freaking dropped. We're not going to watch the whole thing. We're not going to react to it. If you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. It is on the PlayStation's YouTube uh, page. And it's the PlayStation 5 announcement trailer, which got a lot of dislikes. I, di I, didn't, even, I didn't even notice that before. But we're going to check out some comments. Looks like Rockstar took a few notes from Todd Howard. I was actually thinking about making that joke. Because, you know, Skyrim like you know made like 15 editions of their game bethesda over there also keep in mind i know that this is a couple days late i'm recording this on Jul june 12th you guys see that right there all right let's see uh what else nobody asked for this nobody wanted this i would have rather t had rdr2 advanced trailer for ps5 <gasps> that's an even bigger mess than ps or the gta5 right now <laughs> why would you want red dead to enhance an enhanced version of nothingness like story absolutely incredible online we already know the problem with online i don't know if i'll be buying it on the ps5 i'll have it on pc <laughs> um so i don't know if i will but apparently actually here let me show you guys this so it confirms it right here the shared world of gta online will continue on the next generation with more new updates including additional gta online content exclusive to the new consoles and pc so maybe there won't be Maybe there won't be new updates on the current generation of consoles, PS4 and Xbox One. That's interesting. Uh, there will also be a new standalone version of GTA Online coming in the second half of 2021, which will be available free for exclusively PlayStation 5 players during the first three months. That is actually really cool. So you don't have to buy the entire game again. You can just, you know, um, kind of vibe on it for another three months with online. I probably will if I do end up getting a PS5. But other than that, I don't know if I'll buy the whole game again unless... They do keep updating it, like, with big updates. Other than that, I'll probably just play it on PC or, you know, I'll always have this thing right here, PS4. <laughs> All right, so um, might as well check out the Twitter feed as well. We'll go back to the YouTube one in a second. Please say something about the RDR2 port. You don't want that. What inspired you to re-release GTA 5 for the third time? Money. Yep, that's, that's about how the cookie crumbles. I thought there... This is exactly what I'm talking about. I thought this was going to be GTA 6 the moment this popped up. That that hyped me up, too. I can't wait to see what's next for GTA Online. Me, too. I'm excited. They are going to keep updating the game, so it's not all bad. But to think that GTA 5 will take a... Or GTA 6 is going to take a decade to make. Like, that game's not coming out until 2023 or 2024. Like... And I guessed at the beginning of this year that they were gonna they were gonna announce it between like then and now like it's getting it's getting it's getting them to be quite a long time. That 2013 game is gonna be through three generations of consoles. My question is why? I'm asking the same question. Nomad five four one three two one seven nine. Red Dead Online, <laughs> be like, hey, cool, I'm dead. Yep, that's uh, that's about it. This is this is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. This tweet right here, man. Y'all be y'all just milking your golden boy on GTA 5. The poor cow here. And uh, good morning, sunshine. I'm definitely going to save this picture. Oh, <laughs> Rockstar looks like uh, milking the urine out of Cosmo here. GTA 5. That's, uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, yeah, here's another picture. Good morning, sunshine. You're going to go milk the poor dead cow. Marvel Avengers Infinite War <laughs> G Rockstar GT5 Infinite Game. Um, P PS5 exists. Rockstar, I'm once again asking for your financial support. This game came out three days before the iPhone 5S came out. Let that sink in. We're on the iPhone 11. Right here, iPhone 11. What? That is so true. 
I thought we already got Saints Row Remastered. <laughs> Whole generation of consoles went without a new GTA. That is true. Oh, so this was the plan Dutch was talking about all along. GTA 7 coming soon in December 2045. You know, that's not too far-fetched. Um, maybe 2042, 2043 would be more realistic, but who's really counting, right? I can't ever recall a Rockstar trailer ever having more dislikes than likes. They clearly don't care anymore about their fan base. I don't think that's entirely true. How often do you want to release GTA 5? Rockstar, yes. Oh yeah, this game came out four years after Michael Jackson's death. When did Michael Jackson die? <laughs> when did Michael Jackson die? 2009, June 25th. His, uh, his, uh, that date's actually coming up in a uh, couple weeks here. That's pretty interesting. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, I'm excited that at least GTA Online is going to be free for a little tiny bit of a while. Um, you know, so you don't have to buy the full game. Uh, they're going full Bethesda, just re releasing the same game over and over and over and over. 2011, ah, finally, GTA 5 trailer. 2020, okay, then I guess we should wait to GTA 6 until PS7. Rockstar makes GTA 5 for PS5. Us, 16 I seconds. We were trying to get out of this bullshit. <laughs> I thought we were trying to get out of this bullshit. That is, that is kind of how I feel about this as well. I was in fifth grade when this game came out. I'm in the second year of- wait, that doesn't make any sense. This game came out when I was in sixth grade. I'm not- I just graduated high school. How is this- Maybe he started college early. I don't know. They're calling us clowns, literally, and laughing at us to giving them more money. Graphically enhanced- am I- PC mods, am I a joke to you? That is so true. What they're really doing is reselling a GTA 5 graphics mod. And it's probably going to look as good as Ultra Settings on PC. We already have that. We've already experienced that. Even that came out in 2015. That was already five years ago. Why did I move here? I guess it was the money. These MFers had the audacity to release a PS3 game on the PS5. When I've been playing the same game since 2013 until today, my mom... Should talk about work. <laughs> we should talk about work. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mom, I have to keep playing GTA 5 for the next decade. And God knows how long. Ten years. <laughs> uh, this is funny. G PS4, G PS5. It's Trevor and then Steven Ogg, his voice actor. You guys might know. Um, after all these years, GTA 5, PS3, PS4, PS5. Finally, I have them all. Yeah, is Rockstar collecting the Infinity Stones or something for console releases? Because they got 360, PC, 1, PS3, PS4, PS5. That's six stones. Wait, how many stones are there? <laughs> Sorry, I don't follow. Six Infinity Stones. So yeah, they will be um, finishing the gauntlet um, in 2021 once it releases on PS5. GTA 6 for PS5, GTA 5 for PS6. <laughs> Drake meme, old fashioned, uh, hotline bling. <laughs> this game will be soon the new Skyrim of, of being on everything. Haha, <laughs> money printer go burr. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> I like this one. Money go burr. Mad how I own this game on PS3 and now have it on PS4, PC, and now it's coming to PS5. Trilogy then. GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, Trilogy Now, GTA 5, GTA 5, GTA 5. GTA 6, RDR Remastered, Bully 2, GTA 5 for PS5. Babe, it's 4 p.m. Time for you to buy the GTA 5 for the fourth time. Yes, honey. Brr. When you're in a gunfight with another player and your friend crashes a Titan into him, apes together strong. All right, but uh, there's not too many other memes down here. I mean, I guess we could just... Look at this one for one of the last times. Rockstar logo. That was that, that was so me. My heart sunk so hard. So, I guess that's where we'll leave it off today. So, I can't tell you I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that we didn't get to see GTA 6. That is for sure. Or any new GTA game at all. I mean, to consider that... Or any new Rockstar game at all. To consider that they've released two games in the past decade. Literal deck. Well, since 2008, technically, they've released two games. That was 12 years ago. For over a decade, they have not made more than two games. Red Dead Redemption 2 story is a masterpiece. The whole world is really pretty, you know, but 
I mean, you know, the online is now, it just doesn't make enough money, so that I don't think they really care about it. We haven't gotten any update news for Red Dead Online. Not that anyone cares about it. But uh, really, my opinion on all of this is that um, you need to update your game more. Unless you want your game to die, you need to do a few things. You need to do an entire overhaul system of all of GTA Online right now. And I mean, go through the phone, go through the menus, because if we're going to have another three years of updates, which apparently they just said that in that post on their uh, Rockstar Newswire, we're going to need more updates, for sure. We're going to need more updates and more big, good updates, like GTA Online, Casino Heist-type updates, new content, period. An entire overhaul of the game. And I mean, everything. I mean, the game was not meant to last 10 years. That's not Rockstar's fault, but they need to give us some sort of new experience, at least here and there. We can't keep getting two updates a year and, you know, call it well-updated game. The game the game will still always be one of the greatest games of all time, my favorite game of all time, but, you know, it makes too much money for GTA or for Rockstar to just scrap it. I mean, it's going to probably do well on PS5. Maybe they'll do some great big update or something for it to make it actually playable, again, on PS5, replayable. Or what they'll do is um, cut off the PS4 updates and Xbox One updates. So people with uh, consoles will be almost forced to uh, get a PS5 and an Xbox Series X to experience their favorite game again. Um, overall, I'm disappointed. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not sad. Just a little disappointed. And I'm only disappointed because it wasn't a new Rockstar game. And the fact that it's going to take till twenty, the second half of 2021 will is kind of crazy. But I don't know. All we have to do, again, is just wait and see what they'll actually do to it to change it. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll have a cool VR port. I think that'd be sicko mode. That'd be really cool, bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, and to be honest, I think it was a big waste for Rockstar, especially during that whole live stream's time. I was in the whole live stream, the PlayStation 5 reveal. Um, I think it looks great. Is it going to be better spec-wise than Xbox uh, Series X? No, but I'll probably get the PlayStation 5, um, you know, for friends that still play it because I'm kind of a PlayStation guy. And, you know, I'll just keep upgrading and um, buying games on my PC for you guys to experience the best quality possible. Um but yeah, I mean, I wish they didn't really take the time to do that because I just think there was a lot of other games that, uh, you know, didn't get enough attention. Like Spider-Man looks really cool. 2K21 did another sweaty trailer. Um, but yeah, to think how far this game has come is really whack. This game is going to be a decade old sooner than later, you know? So, I decided to make myself a list of things that has happened since GTA 5 has come out. Number one, this is easy, a pandemic. Number two, um, Kobe Bryant, my favorite human of all time, died. Um, um, that's kind of my, my list right now, if I think of any. I'll be sure to add it on to the video, but I have a challenge for you guys. Make a funny list down below in the comments or DM me on Discord of things that have happened since GTA 5 came out. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Um, please remember to drop a like, subscribe if you did. Um, once again, I'm not disappointed. Um, I'm just, I'm not sad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Obviously, yes, I would want GTA 6, but if it means GTA 5 is going to keep getting updated, then it might not be all so bad. I mean, a new game, it's time for a new game. Maybe on PS5, who knows? Maybe they'll, they'll strike us with a Liberty City to go into. Maybe they'll do Story Mode DLC. Who knows? I mean, they didn't expect the game to last 10 years. or to la Yeah, to last 10 years like it is doing right now. Because when GTA 6 comes out, 2023, 2013 plus 2023, you know, that's 10 years. Like I said, I'm staying optimized uh, about this. Uh, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts as well. Maybe send me some memes over Discord. Uh, my Discord server is down below in the, in the description. Um, you know, and send me a funny list like I challenged you guys earlier. Send me a funny list of things that have happened since GTA 5 has come out in 2013. Like, like I said, Pandemic and Kobe dying it, have already been used. Do something uh, clever and funny and maybe I'll react to them. I don't know. 
or I'll definitely give you feedback if you send them to me though. So um, yeah, whether one way or another, you'll have my attention. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.